Wait up! Phew! What are you doing here, dude? I'll battle you before you take on the Pokemon League. The more Pokemon battles you have, the stronger you get, right? Yeah, you have a point. Gaming, and we're upon the final road on Let's Play Pokemon White 2. Well, viewers, since last time I made some changes to my team and I did a lot of level grinding because the, the Elite Four is not a pushover in challenge mode in White and, and White and Black 2. I also made some additions and changes to my rotation. Now I got my party up in in the upper level 60s. You notice my Skarmory and Jolteon aren't here. And I replaced them with a Golark and a um, Sawalus I caught in Victory Road up ahead. Now, Sawalus evolved into Hydreigon at level 64. One of the reasons why I wanted to get around these levels is because I wanted I wanted Hydreigon, obviously. Hydreigon is Dark Slash um, Dark Slash Dragon type, as we saw facing um, Getsus's one last time. However, my Hydreigon is a female, and it was the only one that I found that had a good enough nature for me, to, um, for its stats. I used the stat boosting drinks to up their base stats as well. I gave Hydreigon a track, since it's a female, it's perfect for Hydreigon. Acrobatics for speed, to, you know, to counter its weakness to, um... Actually, no. Well, yeah, he is weak to, to bug and fighting types since he's a part dark type. Acrobatics is perfect for that. Um, Dragon Rush, obviously, because we need a dragon to take down dragons. Flamethrower to deal with those pesky ice types that he'll have to deal with. That being said, though, Hydreigon is a great addition. I replaced Jolteon because even though Jolteon has the speed advantage, its moveset is terrible. And this has been spanning since Generation 1, honestly. I love Jolteon, but in Gen 5, at least in Black 2, White 2, it's not the best, and it took me a while to finally realize that. So, yeah. Um, as far as Golark is concerned, now, in Victory Road, you can find Golark in the first floor. You want to get a Golark with Iron Fist. Do not get one with Klutz. The Klutz ability will make it so it can't use hold items. Iron Fist boosts the power of its punching attacks. Now, since Golurk is weak to some elements and stuff like that, I gave him these specific moves. Charge Beam will be replaced by Thunderbolt soon. Hammer Arm will be useful against against Ice types. And since I needed a Flyer, but I didn't want to get rid of a Trek off a of Hydreigon, I told it to Golurk. So he'll just have to deal with not having a Ground type move for now. But it's not that big a deal, honestly. Otherwise than that, um, here's my setup for um before we get to Victory Road. I retaught Lucario Dark Pulse, because we're gonna need it for the week. Um as far as um Arc is concerned, no changes, no changes on Gly. And we're all set to go. I got rid of Skarmory more so because even though St Sturdy is useful, if I have to keep constantly healing him after um, almost getting one-shotted, it's going to waste a lot of time. So, yeah, those are my additions, and this will be my final team for the game. Let's go, finally. And with that, we've arrived on Route 23! Yes, the final route in the game. Or main game, anyway. <laughs> In any case, you're probably wondering, Mike, how did you get Flamethrower for Hydreigon? Well, I'm going to show you guys where I got it in just a minute, so bear with me. In any case, talk to this lady here. She'll um, have a free in for your Pokemon, which is perfect. Hashtag 11. Oh, viewers, listen to the beautiful music. Isn't it beautiful? It's fucking amazing. I love this. This is by far one of the best final group themes in the series. Next to um next to Johto's um Route 26 and Route 27. Fucking amazing. Alright, what the walls. Ah! 
There you go. Had to ruin the music for a second. <laughs> Again! There you go. Now, there are a shit ton of trainers on this room. Obviously. Now, you're probably wondering, Mike, how did you get all your level grinding done? Well, yeah, I took out most of the trainers on this route, but not all of them. I left some trainers for later. Some trainers on Route 22 and other trainers on surrounding routes. As well as some trainers um, in Victory Road. Now then, the boss... Ah, there you go. Is my max repel on? Okay, cool. Just wanted to make sure. Make sure to stock up on some full restores before you um get moving here, viewers. Because Victory Road is not a joke. Trust me. Well, actually, there is there is a Pokemon Center is coming up that does have a shop in it. Even still, though, get some full restores. They will be a lifesaver, as they are in pretty much every league. Oh yeah, viewers. Here's another thing you should know. Now, the, um, Opelucid City is still iced over, by the way. That hasn't changed, even though we defeated Team Plasma last time. And as a result, Route 9 is also iced over. So if you're trying to get to that shopping mall, you won't be able to now. <laughs> Unless, of course, you have walked through walls, which I do. Unfortunately, we have Among Us here. But yeah, I use walkthrough walls to get inside the shopping mall. So yeah, normally you're not supposed to get into it after Opelousa's been iced over. So, you know. But, you know, fuck that. I can sequence break. And so can you, if you want. Wink, wink. That being said, though, I mean, come on, viewers, it's fun! Look at it! <laughs> Alright, now. That house over there across the way... Talk to the old man inside, and he'll give you the um, TM for flamethrower. So yeah, that's where I got it from. So if you wanna know? You know now. And oh yeah, here's another thing. Um, let's see. Now I encountered N on um, or rather, what the walls? Ah, fuck yeah. But yeah, I encountered um, N at the entrance of Victory Road. Now, the thing is, N will give you the HM for Waterfall. So, yeah, kind of late, but, you know, meh. Then again, I guess most times we don't really get that till late game, huh? Anyway, whatever. But, yeah, all N says is just the same blah, 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 or Pokemon battles, you know, bad, blah, blah, blah. But I've come to understand such and such. That battles aren't that bad, or... Such and such the way, you know, some of the shit that N says that you should already know is past of his bullshit. That's why I love N so much. He's, he's a massive fucking pacifist. And I love him for it. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much all he says. Nothing really substantial or anything like that. It's just the same dribble that we've heard before. So, yeah, I figured it's not really worth showing off. So I didn't bother. <laughs> As far as the Pokemon on Route 23, you can encounter Swamp and Black 2, Thrall and, and White 2, you know, the, the pure fighting types. You can encounter Bufalon, you know, the Afro Tauros of Unova, <laughs> Bienfu, Golduck, Gligar, Among Us, obviously, um, Valby and Black 2, and Rufflet and White 2. In the Dark Grass, you can encounter Mianxiao as well, which is the evolved form of me and Fu. And in the rustling grass, you have a chance of also finding Glyscore. So, yeah, if you didn't get one earlier in the game, you can find one on this route. Ah! There you go. Now, there was a little, um, I got the TM for War, um, near, near where that river was. It's, it's around there somewhere. I forgot where exactly it is. But really, come on, it's War. It's not really that useful. <laughs> Speaking of Victory Road, the boss, there you go. You want to have Cut, Strength, Surf, Waterfall, and Flash in order to get through Victory Road. Gen 5's Victory Road is kind of an annoyance, but then again, it's nowhere near annoying as previous Victory Roads. I'm looking at you, Sinnoh. But, um, yeah, it's really not that big a deal. 
Though the overabundant need for HMs is kind of annoying. What do was? Oh, bruh, come on! Shitty time for the repel to go off. There you go. Yes, CM12 taunt. That's what I was looking for. All right, perfect. Um, I, I think that's everything. Was that everything? Well, no, no. Get this PP up. There you go. Yeah, baby. Of course. Ugh. Gotta have my Viagra. For my ah! Crap. I forgot about this chick. Oh, a person. I haven't met another person in so long. You're a trainer, aren't you? Let us battle. Oh, uh, watch. Go magics. Boom. <laughs> Hydreigon has the Hustle ability, which boosts the attack stat, but it lowers accuracy. But that boosted attack stat helps with acrobatics. As long as as long as the Pokemon is not as long as the Pokemon is not holding a hold item, as you know, acrobatics will deal more damage. So yeah, just so you know, you know now. But yeah, that's why acrobatics can just. One shot that fucking man child, despite the fact Hydreigon is weak to fighting moves. Didn't matter, did it? Nope. In the case, you encounter N right here. And that's where he gives you the um, waterfall HM. Now, these are the badge check gates. Nothing really special about them, though it does have a sexy design this time around, compared to the bland design that was in the first black and white games. Oh, well. And in any case, ah, here it is. Now, this is the Pokemon Center before we get into Victory Road. They also have a shop here as well. Take my advice and get those full restores. Trust me on this. I'm going to take a quick little pause break. I'll be right back. All right, viewers, I'm back. And in any case, on screen, I went back to um, nickname my Golurk and um, Dragon. I named my Golurk Go. More so because it reminds me of um, Go from Pokemon Journeys when he caught that, that massive... Um, Golurk in that raid battle earlier in, in, in the Journey series. Yeah, so Golurk reminded me of Go, so I figured, you know, I'm a Go, I'm a Go fan. I'll just say that much. I know there are people that dislike Go, and really it's kind of for somewhat shitty reasons. I, 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 got, I, I guess because they feel he's trying to upstage Ash, which really was never the case. But whatever haters will be haters so i don't deal in haters i deal in fandom so there you go um for my hydreigon i named the or rather her i named her dre get it dragon hydreigon dre sounds like a cool name like dr dre no no <laughs> no not really that being said though walk the walls ah, there we go get this star piece all right, now then, there's a TM around here somewhere. It's set to the east. Let's see. Ah, secret passage. No ways. All right, there it is. Get TM01 home claws. Nice. You ready? Let's go into Victory Road. All right. Now, Victory Road is a little bit hard to navigate, so bear with me. Now, there's a lot of fucking crevices and a lot of trainers and shit in here. So, I'm going to try and get to the nitty gritty, if you don't mind. I don't want to spend too much time in here, because this dungeon is massive. So, yeah, I just want to kind of get through here, like, within the, within the next ten minutes. So, uh, don't mind me, viewers. I'm just going to sequence break a little bit. There you go. Because it's just so fucking fun. So there. Alright, any case. We'll do walls. Ah, perfect. Oh, 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 shit. You can see that guy. Walk the walls. <laughs> Man. And he, and he couldn't see me there either because I was in the wall. So his Metal Gear Solid vision didn't work there. Too bad, so sad. In the case, Victory Road is so different in, Gen in Black 2, White 2, though. You actually have a forest inside of Victory Road. Weird, isn't it? On to the north, but who cares? Next! Alright, this is the River Valley. Some 
across the bridge. Um, let's see. You know what? I'm gonna quit this bitch. Walk the walls. <laughs> I cheesed the fuck out of Victory Road in Gen 5. I love it. That max repel. Perfect. Now, battle this guy here. He'll heal your Pokemon for you. So, there you go. Alright. They put this dude literally at the start of the fucking area here. Dick move. Alright. Uh, but I'm going to avoid him all the same if you don't mind, viewers. <laughs> Damn. He's like, that's not fair. Too bad. Another fucking Excadrill. Oh, yeah, viewers, you're probably wondering, Mike, where did you find your um, Zawalis at? Well, bruh. I didn't even know there was a fucking hidden item there, and I used Walk the Walls. Hurry up! There you go. But yeah, I found my Zawalis on the third floor of the, um, of the cave. And when we get there, I'll show you guys where it is. Alright, um, let's see. For the east, and so the southern path here. Let's see. Oh, there's a TM on this this path. All right, let's take this. Path. Wow, why do they put these trainers literally in the in the front of the fucking cave entrance? Really, ticket dick locations. <laughs> dick. That being said, though, get this escape rope. All right, now we gotta ride the waterfall and sail east. Huh. Not, not that I need to surf, that is. I'll do us. Alright, so east, we have to find a cave. Alright, viewers and Mac, I was about to go back west, but then I saw this little cave entrance here. Let's go check it out. In the case. Where the fuck is this? I don't think I've ever been in this section before. <laughs> ah! Wild Charge! Yes! Every time I come to Victory Road in this game, I never figure out where the fuck Wild Charge is. Alright, viewers of Mac, we're back at the crossroads again. In any case, Southeast doesn't really have anything that useful. Just a Max Revive, Max Repel, Ultra Ball, and a Full Restore. Really, nothing that useful to me. So I'm just going to avoid that. But you can check it out if you want, but I don't care enough to do so. <laughs> so I'm going to avoid that, if you don't mind. Now then, what the walls? Ah, burst through that fucking placenta, baby. Alright, now then. Hmm. If memory serves, that cave there to the north, I think that was where Terracon um, was in the first game. But I don't think he was available to, like, the, um, the post-game in the first. Hmm. Well, cool. Alright, now then, let's go west. Ah. Alright, back outside again. Alright, now then. Mountainside. Um, let's see. There's another ace trainer around here somewhere. Oh, ooh, damn. Alright. Walk the walls. <laughs> I love how I can just run through the run on the fucking mountainside. It just makes it makes no sense at all, but it's so fucking fun. Nice. Get that max revive. There you go. Alright, if we, if we detour a little ways to the east, we can find a rare candy hidden among the rocks. Over here, that is. Let's see. Where's that rare candy? Where are you, baby? There you are. Nice. You can always use another rare candy, especially for the post game. Alright, now then. Another bitch. Walk the walls! <laughs> You're breaking the rules! No. <laughs> oh, man. I'm going to miss this LP when it's over, man. I just, I love the Unova game so damn much. Oh, man. I just love how I can just sequence break shit in this game. It's just, it's fucking hilarious. All right, in any case, got the Dragon Fang. I think that boosts Dragon moves by 10%. All right, let's um, take the Eastern Stairway and head into the cave. Alright, let's see. Um, let's see. Head south. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, viewers, this is the cave where I caught Zawalis. Yeah, this cave right here, 
this is where I caught Zawala's at. Just wanted to let you know. But yeah, you can find Zawala. I didn't even go over the Pokemon in this in the in the cave. But yeah, you can find Zawala's in um what's that other Pokemon's name? Um Dragon, Drugon or something like that. Is that red-headed dragon with blue wings? I can't pronounce its name right for the fucking life of me. Its Japanese name is Krimgen, so if those that know Japanese, I think you already know. Oh! <laughs> he was like, what? How? Too bad. Previous victory roads in the past. Alright, that being said, though, we're almost out of here. What the? It, oh, it's a Zoa arc! Hey, dude! Pokemon won't move. It might be protecting something. What exactly is it protecting? Ah, there you go. Let's take the western path now. Alright, let's see. Oh, damn! <laughs> oh, this almost scared the fuck out of me right there. What the was? Ah, yeah, baby. Get that PP Max! All right, we're on the eastern path now inside that inside the cave. Mm. All right, just have to figure out where the top section is. This cave, this particular victory road has always been annoying to navigate because it's so fucking big. <laughs> Your victory road is so big. It, it it really is though. It honestly is. Move, asshole. Thank you. Wait, it just leads me back here again! Oh, okay, never mind. This is a new section. Okay. I'm about to say, like, all, all the areas look the fucking same. Well, that that's where the Zoa arc was. Ah. Fucking love this game, man. Ah. I could just break sh I could just break the rules and it just feels so fucking good. Good. What the was? <laughs> just gonna avoid these bitches. Nice. Alright, now. Last floor. Find it. Huh? Wait up! Phew! What are you doing here, dude? I'll battle you before you take on the Pokemon League. The more Pokemon battles you have, the stronger you get, right? Yeah, you have a point. Ha! <laughs> Let's do it! Right! It's time for a rival boss fight! The final one! Versus you! This will be our final battle against you in the main game, that is. Now then! Oonsfez, you still keeping that shitty bird? I'm not shitting on Oons Pheasant, I'm just saying it's just not that good. It's a it's a literal fucking pigeon. Like seriously. We just came from fucking Star Raptor and shit. You, you know how amazing Star Raptor was in Gen 4? One of the best regional birds. And then the following region afterwards, we get a pigeon. Why? Why? It just seems so lazy. Hurry up! Can you turn? Alright. I honestly don't give a shit. Come on, Dre! Equimatics! <laughs> Got him right on nine legs. Whoa! Dude, that's Mega Horn? I saw that move coming from miles away. Oh, is that so? Okay. <laughs> You're such a dick, you. But I love you. I love you for it. Alright. Yeah, I knew that was coming. That's why I healed. Alright, now then. Uh, no, no, no game. There you go. Let's do this right. A track, baby! <laughs> Get subdued by the love. Hang in there, Trey! Yeah! You're weak to bug moves and you it my Trey just took that shit. She a tank! Aquabatics! <laughs> Sadly, this is gonna be the last time we hear Hughes um battle.
metal thing for a while. Oh, damn it! Hang in there, Dre! Damn! You go, girl! Ha <laughs> ha ha! Flamethrower and Poké Knees, for those that don't know. You know now? Nice! Simiseer. Alright, let's switch out. Good job, Dre! Mwah! Go, let's go! Damn! Big dude! <laughs> oh, yeah! Uh-oh! Is that it? Hammer arm! <laughs> Hammer arm counts as a punching move, viewers, if you didn't know. It literally says in the description of the move, you know, fist. If it has fist in the description of, of the attack, it's obviously a fisting. <laughs> no, 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 it's obviously a fist move. <laughs> fisting. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. It's, yeah, it's obviously a fisting move. <laughs> oh, bro, bro. Man, shadow up. Oh! Monkey? Hey, that's... No. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, yeah, viewers. I taught Arcanine Wild Charge. See, apparently Arcanine can learn Wild Charge. It's nice. Wild Charge is a strong electric move. It's second only to Thunderbolt. In my opinion, well, if we're not counting Zap Cannon, because that move just doesn't seem to exist anymore, it seems. Um, yeah, Thunder, Thunderbolt, Wild Charge, in that order. So, I mean, he's not weak to Wild Charge, but I want to show it off. Wild Charge deals electric damage, but it also deals recoil damage as, as, as well. So, you know, there you go. Huh. Of course, Sir, Sir Perrier stands no chance anyway, so... Land the Diver! <laughs> Damn. All this time, and his superior still can't beat me. Damn. That's why I say Snivy's line sucks ass. Because it does. It fucking does. And anyone who says it doesn't is lying to you. I'm just saying, viewers. If we compare Snivy's line to Trico's line and stuff, Trico's line kicks ass every fucking time. Always. Thunderfingers! But that's just my opinion, of course. Not everyone will agree. And that's perfectly fine. You'll put everything on the line for this move, right, partner? Right, but for me, it's just going to be a win, Hugh. Come on, Glide! Almost. Now! Acrobatics! Boom! <laughs> Not bad! Good job, Hugh, that's a good game. Ooh, you're really something. Whew. You actually gave me a workout. I'm impressed, you've gotten, you've gotten better. Mike, thanks to you, I accomplished what I set out to do during my journey. I wish I, wish I could have shown you my little sister's huge smile. This is my thanks. Ah, the Thunderbolt TM! Kinda late, but awesome. Thank you, Hugh. I think you're really amazing, dude. So become the champion. Get the proof that you're a trainer your Pokemon can be proud of. See you. Thanks, dude. What a journey this has been. What a fucking journey this has been, viewers. You notice all these other sections of Victory Road that are blocked off? Like those two caves that were in that room there? Yeah, that was part of the old Victory Road. So yeah, old Victory Road... You know, you can slide down these things, but not anymore. Well, viewers, the Pokemon League is dead ahead of us, but what awaits us there as we try to overcome our final challenge? Our final battles await us next time! If you guys enjoy, you know what to do. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel for more gaming videos from me. And of course, if you subscribe, be sure to hit the bell so notified of my newest uploads. Got something to say? Of course you do. Leave a comment, duh. So next time, dudes and dudettes, it's Mike from Rage Break Gaming, and I hope your rage breaks. Have a great day, my bitches and bros. Smile you later.